right, boys, it has actually been a little while since you last saw us. I think the last thing you guys saw was Sam receiving our new kayaks from Old Town. And I'm gonna interrupt the video right there. I am sorry, I, you know, uh, I don't really know what happened. I filmed all the kayaks coming and I filmed unloading them out of the big truck, out of the big semi truck that came down. They were wrapped up in some big packaging plastic and I don't really know what I did with the footage. I don't know if I didn't hit the right button to record or if it was like, I don't know what the strat was. But I do have some pictures of them which I'm going to throw up right now. They came in these big packagings and I had to unload them. And uh, you guys really didn't miss much. And I said I was going to wait for John's reaction because John was actually not in town. He was out in Montana when we got them. John is finally now in town. So he's here and we are going to be doing the unpacking in this video. So I hope you guys stay tuned. And uh, these kayaks from Old Town are freaking sick. They are badass. If you guys want to go check them out, link is down below. Definitely go check out their kayaks and canoes and everything. So I don't really know if we go through it or not at the end here, but I got a smaller size. I got a 106, which is a 10 footer, and John got the 12 footer. And that thing is chungus, all right? That thing is a beefcake. So you guys just hold on tight, and uh, we're gonna get right back into the video. And I have yet to see them. Personally, I have not seen them yet. And um, I'm very excited here. As you guys saw, Sam and I got both different ones. He got the 106, and I got the 120. <sighs> Let's go look at these real quick. Bro, what? Oof. Oh my, dude. Like, these things look hot. Right? Oh my, so this right here is my Autopilot 120, and Sam's is the orange one, that is the 106. Now, I think we're gonna do a little, we're just gonna walk through each boat uh, individually, and I'll give you a little bit of details about them, what I know. Like, again, I know nothing about kayaks, and I know nothing about this brand new kayak so i mean we're gonna figure this out here together i just want to say a huge shout out to old town for sending us these if you guys want to check out any of their stuff like they don't just have these they have canoes pedal kayaks just ones that you just do this like they have all sorts of stuff so if you want to check them out check out the link in the description below they're a huge supporter of this channel so if you guys support this channel you should go support them as well so right here this is the 120 this is mine mine's the big boy and 12 footer yep 12, 12 foot. footer and Sam's is 10, 10 foot, foot. Six, 6 inches or whatever, you know, I don't know the exact measurements. But right there we got the rudder, and you just let this down with some magical thing over here, I'm guessing. A um, lot of storage right here. As you can see, we got these tie downs right here, so if Sam and I, you know, we want to throw some tackle back here, or, I mean, we could we could bring a lady and she could sit in the back here with like a, like a little chair or something. Like, I'm sure we can get that going. And you can buy accessories too uh, to put in the back. Move on over here. We got some compartments, it looks like. These look just like some dry containers. Um, and we got a couple of these all around here. We have one right here as well. I haven't even opened any of these up. Oh yeah, that's a little bigger one right there, son. So yeah, we got that right there. And then put it back on there, you can just lock it. So that should be like, I guess, watertight, I guess, I don't know. This right here is where our battery goes. We have the battery things over there just chilling right now, but um, also we're gonna go through the battery setup here after this. We have them actually charging right now because Sam and I wanna take these out for another video, but we're, we're having them charged now. So just stay tuned for that to check out the batteries that we have. This is my deck right here. And I mean, first impressions, honestly, this seems super, super sturdy. And I'm taking the flip flops off. I'm getting really serious here. I got some like memory foam right here. And this feels good on the bare feet, Sam. Like this feels, I like this a lot. We took the seats out of the kayak right now, but usually there's a seat that goes right here. And I mean, there's different like levels on height that you can have it as. You can have it a little bit higher. You can have a little bit lower as you can see these two mounting rails right here. This I'm assuming is like my kill switch and stuff like that where whenever I get that installed. And then my motor goes right inside here. You just plop it inside there. And then this right here is gonna be it. This is gonna allow me to pull up my motor or let my motor down. And the big differences between this kayak, the 120 and the 106, mine's the autopilot Minn Kota. And I mean, I don't really know trolling motors that well, but I do know that I think mine might be a little bit more powerful than Sam's. And like mine has the capability to where I have a remote and I can like say, hey, let's drive it over here. Let's drive it over there. I can just do everything right here and have a spot lock. That's my one major thing that I'm super excited about is I have a spot lock. So if I'm like fishing the Missouri River, let's just say for instance, for some big old walleyes and I find the juice, I'm like, oh, put the poles down, boys. I hit the little anchor button, spot lock, and it should keep me in place. I don't know how like 
well it works in super windy conditions or anything like that. But that's where you have to stay tuned for the next video and when we do our on the water review, which I'm looking forward to that one. But right now, this is just kind of like our first impressions on our kayaks. They have our little foot pedals right here that we can adjust and I can steer my rudder with these as well. If I don't want to use my controller, I believe I can steer with these. And you just move this to set your, your different height preferences. And then all we got right here is just a little storage container. As I said, we got like three or four of those. It looks like it goes pretty deep in there, so that's nice. And then we have a nice little carry handle right here. And we have two little handles in the back. And one thing that Sam and I botched on is I was looking into kayak fishing and I saw that you want to have wheels on your kayaks when you're dragging them around. You don't want to just drag it around on the pavement. Uh, that seemed pretty good. You don't, you don't want to be dragging these kayaks around on the pavement because it just busts up the bottom. So Sam and I, if you want to show them, Sam, I ordered these guys right here. Um, but we, we found out very, I got this off Amazon and we found out very quickly that those are cheeks. They're, they don't stay on there very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send those back and get some new ones where Basically, they have, the wheels have two prongs that go like this, and I stick it underneath there, and they go up these holes, so it, will, it won't move. The problem with those wheels, they were just moving everywhere. So I'm gonna return those, and then we should be in business. But for in the meantime, we're good. Hard to talk with the glizzy in your mouth, huh? So I got the smaller version, the 106 one, and uh, this one's actually throttled right here. As you guys can tell, it's got a nice little throttle. And uh, we got even reverse in this bad boy, I believe. But basically, it's the same thing as John's. It's smaller, and I, I got a nice little compartment area here too. And then over here, I can even take out my little motor, and then I can just put this bad boy in if I want. And if I don't want to use anything, like if I don't want to use my motor, I can just use it to stand on. And, a nice little and you can just like paddle. Yeah, I can just paddle. Yeah. So that's always good. And then obviously get the battery area. Same thing. Got a couple rod holders. Those will be clutch. A nice little dry box area. That thing looks pretty good. That back up, that's basically the gist of it, huh? Yeah, that's basically all it is. I mean, it's nothing too complicated, nice and simple. I kind of like the simple things in life. John, he's, he's a bougie I'm bougie, guy. I'm bougie, John's bro. John's a bougie guy. I, I like simple Like, stuff. this is like you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Story of my life, man. Daisy! Everybody likes the new kayaks. Okay. So, we come over here. And these, uh, Daisy, look, we're trying to film here, my guy. What are you doing? We'll give you a treat later. Just go on for a second. So we actually needed some new batteries for our kayaks, obviously. Now, Sam and I, we could have gone to Walmart and bought the Deep Cycle Marine ones for like, I don't know, they're probably, they're probably not that expensive. But the problem is those batteries are so heavy. Like they weigh more than me and Sam combined. And obviously when you're kayak fishing or kayaking in general, you don't want that many heavy stuff in your kayak. So we decided to go with lithium batteries. And Amped Outdoors was kind enough to send us some deep cycle marine batteries. This is a lithium and this thing, oh my God, so light, so light. This is very easy to plug in and charge. As you can see, we got a little power converter there. You plug it in there, you screw it on there and boom, we got a lithium battery, which are way lighter and can be way more efficient for our kayak fishing adventures. So if you guys want to check out the Amped Outdoor products, they have a bunch of different things on there just besides lithium batteries. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to go and check out. They're helping us with their whole kayak thing as well as Old Town, so it would be awesome if you guys went and showed them some love. So yeah, that was basically just a super brief introduction to our brand new kayaks and batteries. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, the next video you guys see us do, we're gonna be fishing in them. Oh God, yeah. We're gonna give you our honest opinion on these kayaks and give you a, a more in-depth kind of view of how everything works. Obviously it's kind of hard to explain everything, we're not in the water. We're just in our freaking grass, for God's sake. So again, if you guys want to check out any of the stuff that you guys saw in today's video, go check it out in the link of the bio. Now that Sam and I have these new kayaks, this opens up a brand new branch of things for our content on this channel. Like, we can obviously go fishing more. Sam and I, as you guys know on the channel, we're big bank guys. We like going on the mm -hmm. bank, but now that we have these kayaks that are super portable, it's going to make our content just kind of expand some stuff. So if you guys want to see some duck hunting out of these, some fishing out of these, some surviving out of these, catching cooks, whatever it may be, drop some comments down below and let us know what should we do with our kayaks. So as most of you guys already know, John and I like to name our things. Like, you know, John's got the taco. I got the mommy car. So you guys should help us to name our kayaks. If you guys have any suggestions, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Um, mine's like an orange and black. John's is a blue, blue, blue and black. Yeah. Blue and black. So if you guys got any names for that, just let us know. Help us out. Uh, maybe 
You guys don't like Glizzy, so we're not going to name him Glizzy. Yeah, we won't. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>